Thank you very much, Hanan, for this wonderful presentation and wonderful lecture. Um, Thank you. Detecting a Genetic Fire. Dr. Salwa Mustafa, come back and chance. Assalamu alaikum, sabah al khair. I'm going to talk about CNS HLH. أحب في الأول بس أذكر وحدة الدم والأورام وحدتي وخصة بالشكر دكتور إيمان رجب مش موجودة النهاردة بس تعلمت حاجات كثيرة منها especially في التوك اللي هتكلم عنها هبتدي الأول بكيس بريزنتيشن عن male patient following an hour clinic كان seven month old four order of birth of remote consanguineous parents the initial presentation بتاعته كانت at the age of six months the fever 38 of one month's duration, followed by single attack of generalized tonic colonic convulsion and the brief attacks of disturbed consciousness. The family history can fear two sub deaths before the age of six months with fever and undiagnosed illness. The initial examination can uh, eventful for and no can feverish can and do a hepatospelinomegaly. A neurological exam can showing weakness and hypertonia more elicited over the right side. Initial investigation, initial laboratory investigation can significant for uh, uh, marked neutropenia 0.5, hemoglobin 7.6, normocytic normoclomic, and the platelets was 49, can bend cytopenic. Other investigations were showing elevated serum ferritin, alpha methane, Fibrinogen can consume 0.6 and elevated triglyceride of 400. A patient performed CSF examination, uh, no abnormality can detect it. The MRI finding can it showing areas of abnormal signal intensity at right and left frontal hemispheres, donating demyelinating process. At this point, Ahna can present Lina infant, CNS disease, hepatospelinomegaly, and bencytopenia. A differential diagnosis of a carnivore can be seen as viral infection, or concomitantly, the patient can myelosuppress, and it can be leukemia or seen as infiltration. It can be neurometabolic disorder, or a carnivore can also be HLH with seen as affection. The patient performed bone marrow aspiration and bone marrow biopsy. The two can be showing prominent marrow macrophages and occasional hemophagocytosis. According to the revised HLH criteria to the protocol HLH 2004, a patient can be suspected HLH, then can be presented with fever, bencytopenia, splenomegaly, elevated lab ferritin triglyceride consumed fibrinogen. Obelfal genotyping for HLH can send or can bend it. According to those criteria, according to the criticality of the condition, a patient started treatment with CNS directed therapy. The progression between can be marked regression of organomegaly, with no newly appearing CNS insulin. Laboratory can be improvement for CBC parameters, improvement for neutrophil count and hemoglobin recovery of the platelet count, who can be reduction for ferritin or elevation for fibrinogen. The patient at week five of treatment developed another attack of convulsion. عملنا ريبيتيشن لل HLH marker at this point حصل لي elevation لل ferritin و consumption of fibrinogen. عملنا brain imaging MRI AV of the brain و كانت showing complete resolution of the previously noted demyelinating lesions. However, now the patient can be presenting with thrombosis, left transverse and sigmoid sinuses. At this point, the patient can consider in reactivation with CNS HLH activity. Performed markers for thrombophilia, we can it non-significant. But we know how a reactivation, while I'll assess that the patient had re-induction the protocol of HLH team. Follow up week 11, can see marked regression of any organomegaly, can see stabilization of the neurologic condition, recovery of the counts with hemoglobin 9.9, what has a drop for ferritin again, but at 300, we increase for fibrinogen level. Stalamnal HLH genotyping, we can positive homozygous mutation for the monk 13. A patient performed HLA matching with older sub, but can have identical match. 
At this point, على نتيجة the result of the genotyping of the HLH or HLA matching test, the patient can decide to continue chemotherapy. At week 20, the patient بتاعنا developed intractable convulsions, disturbed consciousness, left side ptosis, who can admitted to the ICU. But at this point, the patient labs بتاعته كCBC, HLH biomarkers, المرضي كان كلهم normal. عملنا repetition لل brain imaging, the MRI. Can it showing left extra axial occipital hemorrhagic correction or hydrocephalic changes? Will patient the morade can diagnosed in who isolated seen as reactivation without any systemic uh, HLH. Um, لو هكلم شوية عن HLH was seen as HLH. HLH up to now the pathogenesis بتاعته not fully understood. Um, نقدر نقول إن هو clinical symptoms uh, سببها إن في excessive activation للymphocytes and macrophage with the release of many cytokines interfering gum. CNS HLH in itself it's not a disease. It's a part of the systemic immune responses concomitantly occurring مع ال HLH. دلوقتي بقى في different five definitions for syndromes of hypercytokinemia. Primary HLH, secondary HLH, familial HLH, macrophage activation syndrome, cytokine release syndrome. بيختلفوا في ال ال inciting etiology. بس متفقين إن إحنا عندنا similar pathogenesis of the disease, which is related to excessive activation or vicious circle of activated lymphocytes and macrophage with resistant antigenemia, leading to excessive production of cytokines. Concomitant معها بيبقى في release لل HLH biomarkers وده اللي بيليد لل manifestations بتاعت ال HLH. ال HLH diagnosis of criteria. Whenever you are meeting five out of eight criteria as proposed by the His Society HLH 2004 study, we can have the diagnosis of HLH. لو بسينا في الكريتيريا دي, it includes fever, splenomegaly, cytopenia involving more than two lines, elevated triglyceride, decreased fibrinogen, elevated ferritin, soluble CD25 elevated, and the hemophagocytic activity proved in bone marrow, spleen, or lymph nodes. ما فيهاش أي CNS involvement. Though in 30 to 70% of patients with primary or familial or secondary HLH, they have CNS involvement, yet CNS affection is not included among the criteria to diagnose HLH. Reactivation where the CNS frequently occurs during the treatment of HLH can occur concomitant with systemic activation or independent. Recently, there are reports about isolated CNS HLH presentation. They start as neuroinflammatory process, and later on, they may or may not evolve into systemic inflammation. In fact, it has been found that 17% of patients with proven genetic HLH disease have been observed to have incomplete or atypical presentation of the HLH presenting solely as isolated CNS HLH, which is going to be extremely challenging to catch this diagnosis. طيب هنشخص ازاي CNS HLH. Um, uh, the review of uh, uh, publications the children's with HLH for different study groups. If we see on CNS HLH, we will see great variability in neurological manifestation, great variability in the pathological changes, great variability in the CSF changes. And there are studies that say that the patients had CNS HLH, CSF بتاعه 16% 60, only of the included can affect it. We need high index of suspicion. The another report in uh, UK uh, case series on familial HLH, uh, cases of familial HLH who can be presenting the symptoms or presentation mimicking demyelination. The another report in St. Jude group and a single boy can uh, case report presenting as Adam. When his brain biopsy and further genetic testing, the patient did have proved in the whole to be CNS, isolated CNS HLH. 
But another report in China and patient with familial type 2 HLH, those patients initially were misdiagnosed as ADEM or multiple sclerosis. The case series and four patients in China initially diagnosed ADEM uh, or multiple sclerosis, and eventually they were found to be familial HLH type 2. But another cohort reporting familial HLH type 3 with MONC13 uh, uh, mutation to be having increased incidence of having a CNS HLH and isolated CNS HLH. For retrospective cohort performed for our clinic, we um, have uh, 35 patients with a suspected primary or familial HLH. The patients with 50% initially presented the neurological manifestation. Nisbet 8.6% of patients can reactivate only CNS. Well, genetic profile beta hum, Nisbet 70% can showing monk 13 4 mutation. Bordu han shokhas is a CNS HLH. To date, no consensus regarding the diagnosis of or definition of CNS HLH among HLH patients. However, in any patient known to be HLH, if I am having any abnormality in the CSF, any abnormality of the MRI, with or without distinct neurologic deficits, I'm considering my patient is having systemic HLH as well as CNS HLH. Clinical picture of CNS HLH is considered very similar uh, whether the patient having primary or secondary HLH. For patients who are not having systemic HLH, primary HLH should be considered as differential diagnosis. In any patient presenting with chronic recurrent encephalitis, it might be one of his differential diagnoses to be having CNS HLH. Clinically, 30 to 70% of patients presenting with CNS HLH develop symptoms of headache, seizure, altered consciousness, hemiparesis, nuclear rigidity, and ataxia. And the CSF examination, approximately 50% of the cases do not show any specific CSF abnormality. It might be normal, or changes in the CSF might not be specific for anything, just like pleocytosis, increased level of proteins, low level of glucose. If we looked at the neuroimaging and biopsy finding, they are also non-specific for uh, the CNS HLH. As stage one, we might find an areas of leptomeningeal enhancement. At time, if biopsy performed, we might get a leptomeningeal infiltrate of lymphocytes, to sites, and or macrophages. At more advanced stage, by imaging, we might find areas of white matter edema and hypomyelination, which why by biopsy, we might find parenchymal involvement, very vascular infiltration with or without vasculitis. At advanced stage, we might find at the imaging nodular or ring enhancement of parenchymal lesion with areas of calcification. And by biopsy, we might find massive tissue infiltration affecting the white matter. So to have a diagnosis of isolated CNS HLH, we again must have a high index of suspicion. This is another boy um, uh, following with us and with the immunology clinic. He is a boy presenting with ataxia, only ataxia, no organomegaly, and those peculiar faces. We suspected the patient to be having one of the hypomyelinating syndromes. Rabbit 27A was performed, and he, the patient was diagnosed of having gracilli, and those are his MRI imaging, and we have a diagnosis of CNS HLH in this patient. This is one of the um, uh, suggested differentiating point between ADEM and CNS HLH by MRI. Um, um, in a study uh, uh, two, uh, 2012, which shows there is higher prevalence of hypo-intense uh, hypo signals on C1, more with the ADEM than in the HLH uh, patients. Um, uh, lesions are found to be more symmetrical if the patient is having CNS HLH than uh, is having uh, ADEM. Back to our case uh, uh, presented earlier, the patient with uh, uh, the thrombosis. Is there any relation between the CNS HLH and sinus thrombosis? Also, we find uh, very few literature about this, and we find the sparse cases of 
familial HLH type 4, which do present like our case with uh, uh, stroke. Treatment option for CNS HLH, it aims primarily uh, to eliminate the cytokine storm that's resulting from the fish circle of resistantly activating T cells and the macrophages. And those are going to include systemic steroids, chemotherapy like uh, etoposide, cyclosporin, antithymocyte globulin, and whenever the patient is having CNS symptoms, uh, he needs to take a CNS directed therapy in the form of enterothecal uh, chemotherapy, mesotrexate, as well as a steroid. And for the patients with primary or familial HLH, it would be greatly beneficial in performing early stem cell transplant so as to hold on the process. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hanan. Dr. Talo and Mustafa, for this comprehensive uh, lecture. Uh, now, I, it's my pleasure to introduce Professor uh, Noha Sarwat. She is Associate Professor of uh, Pediatric Neurology, Mansoura University. She will speak about the dancing child when to worry. <laughs> 